Survey CTO's 2.21 release added a few great improvements to the Data Explorer, and I'll just quickly show you the most important ones. I'm here in my sample household listing form, which has been used in the prior videos on monitoring. I'm just going to shoot down to the bottom and add a relationship summary. Here I'd like to summarize the duration, the time it takes enumerators to fill out the form, with the start time, which is when they begin filling out the form. So this is one of the first additions, is a new trend view in the Data Explorer. So here on the x-axis I have the start time, on the y-axis I have the duration, and you can see that my average duration is shown here by day. I only have two different uh, days in my data set. But if I had more data, I could aggregate by weeks or months and show the trend that way. I can also show the minimum duration, maximum duration, or count. So for example, I can see that in terms of the quickest form that got filled out, uh, that happened on the second day. But if I look at the maximum duration, I can see that that also happened on the second day. I can still go back to a table view like before. And so, for example, I could show the mean duration by day here in the table as well. So another relationship summary that has been added is a, a map view. And so I could take, for example, the GPS location, and I could relate that to, say, the duration and maybe also the enumerator. If I do that, then I can see, for example, here I have the GPS location by duration. And I can go down, for example, to my cluster here in Chamani Mani, and I can see the pins shaded now by the duration. So I can see this was 107 seconds, this 311 seconds, 399 seconds, and so on. Now down here, when I'm relating the GPS location with a numerator, then the tooltips in this case are the enumerator and the pins are the location. So again, if I go down to the cluster in Shimani Mani, I can see that these green pins are all rejoice and these uh, red pins are all precious. Now to show a couple of the other additions that we've made to the Data Explorer, I'm going to switch over to another survey. This was a survey form that we used in the recruiting for quality control engineers here at Dubility. And as part of this recruiting process, we had various exercises that we had uh, applicants fill out. And I've gone ahead and I'm in the Data Explorer and I've zoomed in on a particular uh, application. This is a round two application where we had a certain exercise where we asked people uh, to watch a certain video and then give us uh, feedback and describe what was going on in that video. So a couple of things I wanted to, to highlight here. One is we save text audit information about the timing of survey administration in order to see how long it took applicants to complete different parts of the round two exercises. And we can see that, as always, we have a text audit file, a CSV file, that has all of those details. But the CSV files aren't the easiest thing to use when you're reviewing data. So what we did is we added this new option to show text audit info. If I click this hourglass, then it downloads that CSV file and overlays the information here in the Data Explorer view. So for example, here, with each question now, it tells me the exact time that the person arrived at that question and how much total time they spent on that question uh, in the survey. And so here I can see that 11 seconds into the survey, this applicant arrived at this first exercise and they spent a total of 11 minutes and 49 seconds completing the exercise. And so we can see this uh, for all of the uh, questions in the, in the uh, survey form. So you can see at the very end, they first arrived at the, at the end note at one hour, 44 seconds into the survey. And they only spent five seconds on that last uh, note. Now also, if I see something interesting here and I want to share it with one of my colleagues, there's a new option to copy a direct URL to the submission. So if I click that, it copies the URL to my clipboard, and then I can, for example, open another window, and I can go directly uh, to view that submission. 
In this case, uh, I'm already logged in, so it didn't prompt me to log in, but of course it would require a login. And also we didn't encrypt uh, these forms, and so it didn't ask for a private key, but it would in the case where the data uh, was encrypted. Now another thing we did in 2.21 is we changed the format of audio audits to be MP4 so that browsers would have an easier time playing those uh, audio clips directly in the browser. And so while I don't have audio audit information for these web surveys here, if there were an audio recording associated with this submission, it would be listed here, it would also be listed uh, uh, down further down in the form, and I'd be able to play that audio recording right here in the form while looking at the data. So there were a number of smaller improvements uh, also in 2.21. If you haven't upgraded yet, we'd uh, encourage you to. You can go to your Manage Subscription page and just click the green button to update your server. Uh, these updates are always free. Thanks.